Elsewhere, Wildcat 91.9 recently partnered with WTC Communications to host an eSports tournament. Each group that participated assembled a team of three, and prizes given out included trophies as well as $150. Corey Bowen is a member of the trio that took home first place playing the popular video game Rocket League. It's kind of like car soccer, so you can kind of like fly through the air with cars and you hit a soccer ball and, you know, got together with my team, so we play and, you know, put it together. You know, we were, uh, you know, talking well, communicating well, and we just put it together and ended up, you know, going all the way. Bowen says he heard about the event from a friend that he has played with before, but he has little experience playing with the team's third member. My friend Jacob, he uh, he came back to the house one day and he's like, hey, you want to play in a Rocket League tournament? I was like, yeah. And then so he had a buddy of his, Seth, and then so we formed a team and then just came and played. Seth Thompson joined the team with several years of experience playing the game. Rocket League's the only game I play, so uh, I definitely dedicate the most time to it. Total hours in the game, I think, 1300. Jacob Hollerin says that with the team that he helped assemble, he knew that they had a great shot at winning. I'd say we had a pretty decent shot. We're all pretty good at the game. It really came down to like watching the other teams play before us and get like a good read on them so we could decide how we're going to play. The event took place at Forum Hall in the K-State Student Union. But in future years, there may be a spot right next to the bowling alley dedicated to esports. The space down uh, in the bowling center, I think is a prime location, um, and we can create some synergies with our other recreational uh, facilities that are in that area. We have a, somewhere between 3,500 to 5,000 square feet that we could dedicate to, to gaming uh, with uh, potentially uh, computer stations as well as gaming console. Williamson says that he hopes to get the process started by next fall. As far as a program, a holistic program, which would include staffing on sub-level, uh, the educational experience, and then hopefully uh, sooner rather than later, uh, physical facilities. Uh, I think we can get the, the process started by fall of next year. For Bowen, he says that playing video games is all about having fun. Just have fun. I mean, you'll get better as long as you have fun. Future plans for the event include hosting more participants, giving out larger trophies, and increased cash prizes. Also, the goal is to have future esports tournaments last multiple days.